Welcome to another video by Resident Tech Work. This video is for the Adventure Game Locomotion System, or EGLS, version 1.5. And I'm going to show you how to replace your player character and then your AI character, as the two processes are different. So first let's start with your player character. If you go down to the Advanced Locomotion folder, Blueprints, and then Character Logic, and in here you'll find the ALS Anim Character BP. If you make a child asset from that, so go up and create child, child blueprint class. And we'll go in and just rename that just now. And just call it new new man character BP. Okay. This allows you to make changes, making a, a child allows you to make changes to the main player without changing the original blueprint. Now, if you open the blueprint we've just created, and then go to Body Mesh, it's down here, and that's just below the one below Visual Mesh. Now, if you find a skeleton on the right hand side, skeletal mesh asset over here, and put in a new character. I'm using characters from the uh, adventure set. So that one. And if in, in the viewport, if I just bring him across slightly, now you'll see that the blue anim man is actually still there. So if we go to the mesh, character mesh up here and in the details tab at this side we search for visible and on the box there it says visible so untick that and then you can see your character quite clearly so compile and save now if we go back to the main screen you could actually pull in your main character at this point or your new character, I should say, at this point. Um, but the default character is still in the scene, though. So we'll delete him just now. Now, at this point, you will get a couple of um, error messages. These actually relate to um, two actions in the default scene. They don't affect anything else, so there won't actually be a problem with those. Now, if you start trying to play just now with that character, there will be a few problems, because you don't actually have control over the player yet. So if you click on the character, in the detail panel, search for Possess. Oh, wrong place. Sorry, down here. Search for Possess. And where it said Disabled, change that to Player 0. Click on Save. Your character appears ready. However, if you try to play, I'll just try that just now. What you'll find is that if we go over and activate the enemies at this side, activate those, and you'll find we can walk straight across and they pay absolutely no attention to us whatsoever. That's because, quite simply, they can't see us at the moment. So let's solve that. If we now click on the new character in the browser here, and in such a way as to be able to copy the name, there we go, and then go to the folders, advanced blueprints, and human AI, human AI logic this time, down here, and then open the AI character, which is this one here. And in the Details tab, if we search for Tags, and the problem is that down here, your character name isn't actually mentioned, because these are, the bottom three are the enemy that they're looking for. So what we need to do is add, and add en underscore, and then paste your character's name in there. Then compile, Save, 
close that window. And now if we try playing, you'll see if I do the same again. The enemies will actually see us this time. Now this works great with the UE4 meshes, but there are often issues with the UE5 meshes. Some of them have stretching issues. So if you're using a UE5 mesh, give it a shot, but you may find those problems. You are better off with the UE4. Now, for the AI character, again, it's the Advanced Locomotion folder, the Blueprints and Human AI Logic, which is the folder we're in. And again, it's the AI, AGLS human AI character that we're looking for. And if we open up, and if we go up to the mesh up here, you'll find that the building of it below is quite different to the main player. There's no skeletal mesh in there. So what we have to do is now click on add and add in a skeletal mesh. I'll just call that body. This will allow you to add a skeletal mesh into the into the, the animation so you can actually add in your own appearance. Now on the skeletal mesh at this side, if we now click in here and again I'll take one of the adventure pack. Take that one. Now in here, mesh zero. If we come down to element zero, because if I put in the viewport, you'll find that the character, the new character is there, but so is the existing character. So if we go in and search for invisible. And that actually brings the full character out. Now, compile, save that. Why does that come back? Okay, it must be a glitch. Construction. Now, if we come down here, and this is the construction script. If we break that link and draw a string out and what we want to do here is to type in set leader pose by component and it's mesh. Now if I just come across you'll see that there's already a mesh component there but that's actually in the wrong place for this. So what I want to do is bring that down slightly and break that link and actually connect that to the new leader bone component there. And then the body we just created, if you pull that in and connect it to the target, compile and save. Now what we've done here will allow you to use your own mesh. The code that is over here is actually to stop would actually stop you from using your own mesh. It actually colours the body parts of the normal player. So that's why we've disconnected it. Now if you click back to the AGLS human AI character at the top corner here and up here you're searching for control and you want to come down to the AI controller class and make sure that's ALS human AI controller. Okay, and then search for tags and make sure your player character's name is in there with an EN underscore before it. And then compile the whole thing, save it 
and then close. And then if we bring a character in, I'll move that slightly so it's not right in front of us. a minute to find us. She's trying to crouch. Get one. Probably not seeing us. process complete, you'll be able to go in and create child blueprint classes from the human AI character blueprint. You can simply go in and change the skeletal mesh under the body component. And just find a model. Oh, I've selected a U E5 character there. You can see what I was talking about earlier with the, the, the size and uh, stretch issues. Um, I'll, I'll go back and find a, a UE4 character, that'll, that'll be better instead. Okay. And there we go, I can see it's uh, a lot better there. So if I now pull that into the scene, and reposition it so that it's uh, further away, And then we'll press play. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel.